Lovely people, we are going to celebrate the creation of the perfect roast potato. It's not just a potato, this is the perfect roast potato. And if you think I'm going mad, it's because I'm mad for roast potatoes. Crispy outside and fluffy inside. We're going to do it three ways. Goose fat potatoes, butter, clementine, rosemary, garlic and extra virgin olive oil. The Maris Piper is an incredible, incredible potato. Fluffy and starchy. The peeling of the potatoes, you don't need to see that. I've got them parboiling in here in salted boiling water. They're kind of that size. Cook them for about 10 minutes. The best roast potatoes I've ever made have come from a time when I almost felt I'd overcooked them and created mashed potato, okay? So you need to tread that line very, very, very carefully. So I can see they're just kind of thinking about breaking up. Pour it into the colander. This steaming part here now is also incredibly, incredibly important. It's starting to get starchy, see it go kind of fluffy and white and little kind of flecks and flakes of broken bits of potato. These are the things that are gonna give you crispy bits and we love crispy bits and a crispy outside, okay? Really, really important. In tray number one, cold pressed extra virgin olive oil. Three tablespoons, lower in saturated fats, so we love that. We're gonna move on, butter and olive oil. Half as much and then a nice knob of butter. Butter's gonna give you incredible flavor and a sort of lovely sweetness, but also a strong contender for gorgeousness is goose fat. You can get it in all the supermarkets, three or four tablespoons in there, you're gonna get a richer flavor. It could be pork fat, it could be beef tallow. I love all of them, but I generally sway for the butter and the olive oil, but at Christmas, I kinda go for the goose fat because it's so good. A little secret ingredient that I do a swig, a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. It will disappear and what's left is a really subtle kind of tang. It just helps make the perfect roast potato. Then herbs. So let's go to the olive oil here. Get in some lovely rosemary. Put it under a hot tap. If you put it under a hot tap, it just wakes up the natural oils in the rosemary. Okay, so rosemary goes in. And of course, best friends with garlic. Leave the skin on. The skin will protect the garlic and it will release the garlicness very gently. The whole bulb of garlic. Trust me, guys. Then we're going to go to the olive oil and butter. Sage is a classic, beautiful, beautiful fragrant herb. That goes in. And then we've got clementine. You could use any citrus fruit, but at Christmas, uh, clementine's particularly good. Just the zest. Lovely. That will make a difference. It's going to be really, really good. Last but not least, goose fat. Just go brave on bay leaves. Dried ones are okay, fresh, amazing. Four, five, six, and then go in with some thyme. We're gonna hit these up with some salt and pepper, olive oil, rosemary, garlic, clementine, uh, butter, olive oil, and sage, and bay, thyme, and goose fat. Delicious. Now back over here. While these little bad boys are steaming hot, Right, we need to chuff them up. Scratching and scraping the edge. Chuffing, right? I've made it up, okay? Look what I'm doing, look what I'm doing. Woohoo! You see how I've beaten that up, right? So that's good. So we're gonna go in, while they're hot, just mix up all of these. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna cook these in an oven at uh, about 180, 190, which is about 350 Fahrenheit. Over the period of about 50 minutes, maybe an hour, they're gonna get gorgeous and golden and crispy. But after about 40 minutes, I wanna show you the last little tip to make these incredible. Take the tray out of the oven after 40 minutes, place the potato masher on top, and then just let it pop. And let the lovely starchy inside just puff out and then create a flatter surface area on the bottom and the top. Just do that around the whole tray and then pop it back in for another 10 minutes. You can hear the sizzle. Have a little shake up. You can see and you can hear there is crispy perfection in the house. Goose fat potatoes, the butter potatoes with the clementine. The smell in this room is off the chart. And last but not least, the rosemary, garlic, and extra virgin olive oil. Crispy, fluffy, perfect, tangy, little gorgeous oh, roast potatoes. So. Obviously, roast potatoes are only one part of the meal. If you want to look at the other parts of the meal, the gravy, the meat, different veggie options, then click the link. Um, and we've got loads of wonderful recipes uh, on jamieoliver.com and on FoodTube that celebrate all things that go with roast potatoes. But let's be honest, guys. 
everything in the world goes with roast potatoes. I know you feel the same way as I do. Oh, crispy and fluffy. Yeah, baby. Just give me a little bit of peace. Can I just have a little moment on my own? Go on, off you go.